Hey everybody, CW here, Card Wolf, because I am always on the hunt for great cards. Today it is Pack Battle Day with Card Wolf versus Average Joe. We do it here every Wednesday and on Joe's channel every Wednesday. There's a link in the description box below to Joe's channel where you can check out his video, compare it to mine, and see which one of us is the winner. Now this one is going to work a little bit different. It is the Blue Turtle, fresh from Sting's first solo album, and the Red Owl. I don't think there's any musical reference for a, a Red Owl that I that I know of, but uh, in any event, it is the Blue Turtle versus the Red Owl. I guess I'll, I'll be the, uh, I don't know, I'll be the Blue Turtle, and Joe can be the Wise Red Owl. The Blue Turtle looks kind of a little bit simple-minded, so that fits me pretty well. Not Simple Minds, but Sting. So make sure you get your musical reference right there. Today we are battling with some, uh, these are, some people call these uh, pharmacy boxes. Uh, some people call them uh, Fairfield boxes. I, I consider them Fairfield boxes. Usually buy these at pharmacies like Walgreens. That's where I picked these up. They're on sale this week, thanks to Surf North for letting me know that these are on sale. Uh, I was not able to find baseball at my local Walgreens, but I did find football. So this one is brand new, and the baseball one is from at least a year ago. This was in uh, my stash of unopened stuff in the card closet, and Joe and I discussed it, and we thought it would be really fun to do one of each. And the winner this week, this is how you need to vote this week, the winner this week is not who gets the best cards, but who has the worst box. That is the winner this week because usually you get nothing but junk out of these. So whoever gets the worst junk out of their box, that person is the winner. So I might have a really great football box, but a really terrible baseball box. And if I have the worst box, then that would make me the winner. So that's how it goes. As you can see, one in four football boxes contain a hit. And I'll compare it so you can see them both. And one in eight baseball boxes contain a hit. So I don't know, figure that out. I'm, I'm not sure why they do it that way. I believe that the Fairfield Empire, the people who create these boxes, just has a gigantic mansion and estate, maybe several mansions on their estate that are built entirely out of sports cards. And whenever they need to do a new uh, edition of, of boxes for Walgreens, they just... Uh, they come in and they demolish one of the rooms in, in one of the many sprawling estates they have that are made entirely out of sports cards. So uh, we'll see what we get. Sometimes you get an unopened pack in these and sometimes you just get loose cards. So uh, really no telling what we're going to get out of these. As I said, the football one I just purchased within the last 24 hours, the baseball one I purchased at least a year ago, if not older than that. So uh that kind of gives you, I think Joe found two brand new ones of his. They didn't have any baseball at my Walgreens because they're on sale, but uh, Joe was able to find a new one at his. So maybe I have an advantage or maybe I have a disadvantage. If you think the old ones are better or the new ones are better, I, I'm honestly not sure. I haven't opened these on the channel for a long time, so let's get to it and see what's in this football box. The way that I usually do it is open them from the bottom. These flaps usually open up pretty easily there. They're just glued and can do that more easily than opening it from the top. And so here's what's in the football box, and there's a lot more air in there than there are cards. It does look like there is an unopened pack in here of some kind, so we'll see what that is. Usually the unopened packs are Sage products or something like that, some kind of off-brand, and indeed this unopened pack is a Sage product. There is the uh, the dreaded Sage logo down there in the corner. I don't know, I find that Sage products are not uh, not what I usually go for. We'll start with that. It is Collector's Edition Sage 2022 High Series five card pack of football. I, I don't know what to expect out of here. As I said, today you're voting for whoever gets the worst box. That person is the winner. So uh, we'll start our football box out with a Sage pack. We get uh, running back Abram Smith. Again, this is a 2022 product, so you would have think that these guys, usually there's a bunch of prospects in here, but you'd think that at least some of these guys would have had a chance to get into the NFL at this point. Drake Jackson and Christian Harris, linebacker, and uh, Devin Williams, and then uh, Rashad White. I believe Rashad White has actually gotten into the 
the NFL, if I'm not mistaken. He's a running back, and that is your insert for that pack. It's a next-level Rashad White for what that's worth. More Sage cards start the uh, loose cards off for us. It's Henry Tototo, I believe is how his, his name is pronounced. I have to say that's one I not run into before. Henry Tototo, fresh from uh, Oz. I don't know, making a Toto reference there. It could also be a music reference if you're down with Ann Africa. Jake Bobo there and Bo Nix. So we got Bobo, Tototo, and Bo, our first three cards there. Take that for what it's worth. Casey Thompson, these have all been Sage cards thus far. These are upside down and backwards, which has no bearing on anything because, you know, they just shovel them out of the rubble of the uh, room that they've torn down from the Fairfield Estate. So I think there are all kinds of, you know, different orientations here. Jerzon Newton and Andrew Makuba. Kayshawn Boutte, and we get some more backwards cards here. Let's see what we have going on. Ben Yorosek, and a double Ben Yorosek. We haven't had duplicate cards in the same pack for a little while on the channel, so it's nice to see the return of that. Double Ben Yorosek. That surely is going to help me towards my worst box here. Andrew Makoba. Is that a, is that a repeat, too? I think that is. There he is, Andrew Makoba. We got two of that player, so double doubles here. We're doing really well with this box. Tyler Huff, so far nothing but Sage, but finally we get some quality pro set cards from the 90s. Brad Bolitnikoff there, the uh, Hall of Famer and namesake of the Bolitnikoff Award. Matt Millen, I believe Matt Millen is also a Hall of Famer, is also an announcer for a while. Gary Plummer. Alonzo Highsmith, not high, but going low. He's about to. Get face planted in the dirt there. Everson Walls, really good uh, defensive back, cornerback, safety type of guys. Played for the Cowboys. That's who I think of Everson Walls as playing with. But there he is with the Giants. Dan McGuire looking very pensive in that photo. He's thinking about his life choices as he ends up on the Seahawks in the early 90s. He was an ultra draft pick. I don't know. I don't remember Dan McGuire. James Joseph carrying the ball for the Eagles there. Got some real quality stuff. Upper Deck, Fleer Ultra, and Pro Set. Rodney Hampton, pretty good player for the Giants. What do we have here? Jay Schrader. I did pronounce that right, I believe. Tim McDonald and Jeff Gossett, the kicker for the Raiders. A lot of Raiders cards in that uh, thing there. Are these all backwards? These are all backwards, so I'm just going to flip the whole thing back over. It's Kevin Porter, and uh, he is there with... The Chiefs, looks like he's being very cautious. I don't know the way his hands are spread out there. I'm not sure why he's doing that. Mark Vanderpoel, and this is a Star Picks card. If we haven't scraped the bottom of the barrel with Sage, here's some Star Picks for you. We got, uh, oh, this one's backwards again. This one is uh, this one's a, a glossy, foily card from, uh, what is this from? I don't know what this is from, actually. I don't recognize this. It's Fred Taylor in the Millennium Collection. Fred Taylor was a really good running back, but I don't think the guy's going to get in the Hall of Fame or anything like that. I don't know what kind of cards these are. Is this Edge? Yeah, these are Edge cards. All right, very good. The off-brands. We're seeing a real selection of off-brand football cards. Speaking of which, here's Phil Puzderak, who looks like he's been hit in the head one too many times for Notre Dame there. Yes, that's from the Collegiate Collection of 1990. Keith Simpson, that's actually maybe my favorite card in there. This is actually an old Topps card, 1983 Keith Simpson card there. And here's a, a sweet-looking foily Black Diamond card there. Maybe that's the best card in here. Eric Allen, cornerback for the Saints, knocking the ball away from the uh, Bengals wide receiver. Pretty uh, neat to see that card. And there's the back, so you can actually see what he looks like. We got another scorecard here, 1990 rookie of Mark Spindler and Nick Bell from a classic card. Man, they are really, it's like, uh, I don't know how many different off-brand football cards you could get in one box of these, but I think we've run the full gamut here. And here's Rookie Force of Vaughn Dunbar. Whew, wow. I think I'm really in the running for winning this week because that was an abysmal box. I mean, I only... You know, I think half of it was Sage, and I only recognized a handful of players out of there, quite honestly. So that was, a uh, wow, that was abysmal. I, I don't know. Well, let's get to the baseball box, see if we can do better. There was definitely not a hit in there, so we'll see if this one has a hit, and if it has uh, 
some unopened packs in here. Again, this one is not new. This one is from at least a year ago. I picked this one up and uh, see uh, how we do here. Open these from the bottom. And uh, so we do get we do get a pack of something in here. You can see and a lot more cards. I think the older ones did have more cards in them. If that uh, football box is any indication of what you can expect from the new ones. Oh, and that's a good pack, actually. I'm delighted with that. That is a Panini Golden Age. I actually really like that product. That's a cool product. Panini Golden Age is uh, a lot of fun to open. So we'll open that pack last. We'll go through the single cards first. That's cool. I'm delighted about that pack. This could be a good box here. Roberto Hernandez, and this is Upper Deck. Start off with uh, Mr. Hernandez there. And then we got a very foily card of Rosmel Perez. That's a Bowman Chrome. It even tells you it's a right up in the corner there. It is a Bowman Chrome card. I <laughs> mean, you have to put card in there? I don't know what that's about. I know it's a card because I'm holding it. I think I'm all set on that. That's from the Diamondbacks. This thing is thick. You could definitely uh, do a Ricky J thing here and try to throw that at a watermelon and get it to stick. That card's really thick. So we've got some uh, upside down. We'll flip those over. Braden Shoemake, another Bowman card there. Braden Shoemake, who I don't remember. That is a prospect card. What year was that? That was 2020 Bowman. And then we've got uh, 2021, I believe. This is Topps, uh, Garrett Cooper, and Austin Hedges, the giant catcher's mask atop his head there. We've got 1990 Donruss, the slugger Steve Balboni, Roger McDowell, Jeff Parrott, and another Jeff Parrott. All right, we got duplicate cards in both boxes, so that's par for the course for this channel. That's good to see we're back to that. Jay Buhner there looking uh, creepy or happy. I'm not sure. It's your call. Bob Nepper, a pitcher who I thought was going to be a really great pitcher for the Giants, but uh, just kind of, I mean, he hung around the league for a long time. He was an above average pitcher, I guess. Trevor Bauer there with uh, Bowman from uh, 2021. And then uh, we got flip these over. And these are going to be all kinds of Rick Cerrone there with the Mets. I think Rick Cerrone is being with the Blue Jays, actually. Was a catcher in the league for a while. That's 1991 Fleer, which some people find garish. Ryan Sandberg, there's a nice one. Joe will be jealous of that. He's a Cubs fan, and I always send him my Sandberg cards. That's the best card that I've pulled out of either of these boxes far and away. Like, there's not even a contest that that Ryan Sandberg card is not the best one. That's an 87 Donruss, actually. We'll flare that to send it to Joe later. Justin Upton from Tops, and these are pretty recent, I have to say. These are uh, surprisingly recent. These are 2018, and we had some 2020s earlier. Martin Maldano and Zach Cozart, some angels there. I, I don't know how that is. These are all backwards, so I'll just flip over the whole stack to see how we do here. Another 2021 card, Dakota Hudson. Sounds like he should be exploring the ruins in Peru. Dakota Hudson we got there. And uh, what is this? Jesse Tinoco from the Rockies. That's a rookie card for what that's worth. We got uh, 1990 score going back to that great era. Gary Gaetti, Ed Whitson. And uh, then well, we got some Fleer here. Very nice to see that. Nelson Liriano. A very sweaty Nelson Liriano. He's been working out hard that day. We got Lonnie Smith, longtime MLBer there. I think of him as being with the Phillies, but later in his career he kind of moved around a lot. There he is with the Kansas City Royals and Steve Lyons. There you go, ladies. Steve Lyons for you. We got Glenn Wilson on the 1990 tops and Dave Henderson looking happy. Dave Henderson always wore a smile on just about every one of his baseball cards. Dave Henderson is smiling, which I really admire him for. I think that's awesome. I think we got another duplicate here. Two Glenn Davis cards for us. So you Astros fans, you don't have to fight over those. There are two of them. Boy, we are lucky getting all these duplicates, I tell you. We get an Orioles card. That's our first Orioles card. It's Ben McDonald during his bearded days. Never thought that was a good look for him, but I guess he wanted to look a little rougher, a little more intimidating. I don't know. Joe Youngblood, 1987 tops there. Longtime MLB or Joe Youngblood. We got Bill Buckner with the Angels and Andy Hawkins. Here we got Wes Chamberlain, and uh, we flip all these over to see 1991 score rookie prospect of Mike Roqueford. I believe I'm saying that correctly as well. Kurt Abbott. From the A's, Collector's Choice. Nice cards there from Upper Deck. I think that's 1992, if I'm right. We'll find out later. 
That is uh, John Farrell on the Stadium Club card. Nice to see some higher quality cards in here. Flip this whole stack over for the alliteratively named Randy Reddy from the Phillies. And Jeff Montgomery, that's a studio card, so we get to find out about Jeff Montgomery, who's posing for his Olin Mills portrait there at the bottom. Jeff Montgomery, his middle name is Thomas, and uh, up close, his hobby is playing with gadgets. Yes. I'm not going to really even expand on that. I don't think I need to. His favorite singer is Elton John, and his favorite actor is Kevin Costner. Top Guns, his favorite movie, and he would like to meet Elton John. All right. That's the first time I've ever seen that on the back of one of these studio cards. And if you watch the channel, you know I, I read the back of the studio cards a lot. So Mar Jeff Montgomery, I'm, I don't know about that. Elton John fan there. Mark Thurman, another Orioles card. Nice to see that. Mike Henneman with the Tigers. Henneman was a good pitcher. He had several good years, actually, so uh, pretty good player back in those days. More 1987 Donruss. We got Jeff Leonard, minor star for the Giants. Mike Mason giving you the stare. I don't know. Is that creepy? I don't know. Some of these guys I'm not so sure about. Rance Mullenix from the Blue Jays. He was in the league for a long time. Never understood that. Don Slott looking happy and delighted to be on the Rangers. And finally, we get to what I think will be the highlight of this box. It is the Panini Golden Age Pack that we got out of here. I'm, I'm delighted to get this, quite honestly. These are nice cards, as you are about to see. And I believe you can pull autographs and mem cards out of these as well. So, uh, see what we get out of this. This, uh, we got the Ryan Sandberg out of there, so I think this will probably not be our worst box. That football box was a travesty, though, so I do have a chance of winning worst box with that football box. Let's see, uh, this pack of Golden Age from Panini. Usually there's something decent in these, I gotta say. So these are a variety of sports and, and kind of just random people from the past. I could be on one of these cards because I am a random person from the past, so we'll look for that. Um, Seattle Slough starts things off here, a triple crown runner, winner in horse racing. Seattle slew the competition. <laughs> yeah, see what I did there? Hashtag dad joke. We got Ted Williams there. That's a nice one. See what I'm talking about? These are beautiful cards. I mean, they did a really nice job with these. I should buy a box of these and open it on the channel. I think that would be a lot of fun. If, if you approve of that, tell me in the comments you'd like to see a box of these open because that's something I could get behind. And uh, if you're enjoying the video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps the channel a lot. Ted Williams there. That's a nice one. I'm going to wolf layer that. And Harmon Killebrew. That's a nice one, too. Some really uh, good all-time greats here. I'm going to wolf layer that one, too. And we do get a mem card. Look at this. That is nuts. Bill Madlock, no less. That is awesome. <laughs> I cannot believe pulled a mem card out of here. A nice Bill Madlock card. Feels like that's a piece of his sock, is what I'm guessing that is. Bill Madlock was a fantastic hitter in the 70s and 80s. He led the National League in hitting quite a number of years, and he was a guy who a lot of people thought would get into the Hall of Fame, but the latter part of his career just did not go as well as uh, I think everybody thought it might. Bill Madlock was a really good hitter, so I'm delighted to get that. That's a big card. And we get a mini as well. That's pretty sweet. The mini is Gene Tennis who I believe was a World Series MVP, if I'm not mistaken. It was a catcher for the A's in the 70s, and a pretty good catcher for them. So that's pretty cool. See what I'm talking about? These are these are nice packs. I mean, you can never know what you're going to get out of here. Here we got uh, the very, very creepy-looking Chick, Chick Gandal, first baseman and creeper. For, uh, I'm trying to remember. I, I'm not sure who he played for wasn't the Dodgers. I can't remember who it was, but oh, it was Chicago. There you go. So uh, there you go. He was being accused. He, he was accused of being the organizer of uh, the Black Sox scandal, actually, which is another reason why he looks so creepy there. I don't know, the vampire or zombie guy, Chick Gandal. And then we finish off with a beautiful shot of Jane Mansfield. Hello, nurse. Nice. See, I mean, when's the last time you pulled a Jane Mansfield card? That doesn't happen very often, so that's pretty sweet. She uh, may have played dumb blondes, but uh, she was actually pretty bright. I believe she was uh, like Mensa level. She may have even been in Mensa, I'm not sure, but Jane Mansfield was actually a pretty bright lady. So that was an awesome pack. I thought it would be good. I always enjoy opening those, and uh, I never get a chance to, so that, that was a delight. That box was fantastic as far as I'm concerned, because 
We got a nice Ryan Sandberg. Got a mem card of Bill Madlock, who I don't think I have any kind of. Uh, I don't think I have any kind of relic card of that player, and he's somebody who I enjoyed watching back in the 70s and 80s and always thought he was a tremendous hitter. And we got Jane Mansfield. You can't go wrong with that. I mean, come on. So uh, I think I could I could both win and lose this. I could win by virtue of getting the worst pack out of that football box. That was deplorable, but I could also lose by getting the best pack. This uh, baseball pack was actually quite good, saved by virtue of uh, the Panini Golden Age. I may have to get a box of those. I just, I've always enjoyed opening those. They're always fun, so uh, maybe I'll get a box of those. We'll see. hope you guys enjoyed this. Again, check out Joe's video and see how he did, and you're voting for whoever got the worst box of the four that uh, we're opening today. Let us know who you think was victorious in our battle this week. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a blast. Always fun to uh, do something a little unusual on the channel. Tomorrow is Anything Can Happen Day, so that could be quite unusual as well. You never know what I'm going to do then. And Friday is Dorking with Dice. We do it every Friday here. Hopefully get my son involved in that. Pack opening machine keeps me on track with Dorking with Dice. There's not so much rambling, and I actually know what I'm doing. And uh, he, he's just, he's very good for the channel. I don't even know why he keeps me around, really. He could be do, doing Dorking all by himself and, and quite well. I will see you back here tomorrow. Thanks so much for tuning in, and as always, happy collecting.